Why is this sexual to me? That was bitter. Carrot cake is one of my all-time favorites. And to this day, unfortunately, I haven't had one here in the US that I actually enjoy. Because often they're too sweet, there's too much flour for my taste in there, or way too much sugar and fat. So I had my mom send me our family recipe, and I made it yesterday. So even though you might have hoped for it, we're actually not gonna bake a cake in this video. We're just gonna add the cream cheese frosting, do a general catch-up, and have a good time. A lot of you probably heard or maybe even saw that the weather here in California was a little rough the past week. I didn't see any snow even though a lot of people did, but the rain was heavy. I actually have this really funny story. I was looking outside my window after dinner, all melancholic, looking at the heavy rain and I was like, wow, the cars stopped because they did. So I was analyzing the situation thinking the rain is so heavy that cars are stopping and it's kind of the end of the world. I continued to look, I took in the atmosphere and then I realized that the only reason reason why the cars were moving was because the traffic light was red. And I have to be honest, I chuckled a little bit because in my head I thought, wow, that was not my brightest moment. Anyways, the weather was bad, the rain was heavy, but the sun is shining today and the sky is blue. And to be honest, all I can think about when I see the rain here in California is how good it is for the environment. I mean, the drought here is no secret. I just want the ground to soak up as much of it as possible to flourish, grow crops, and hopefully prevent a lot of fires. Blech. Okay, the matcha is done. Let's get out the cake. And here we have our wonderful carrot cakes. Like I said, I made this cake yesterday and it was in the fridge overnight. It's two cakes, so it's gonna be a two layer cake. Unfortunately, I do not have any walnuts to put on top, but we'll find something else to put on top. I'm not worried about that. We're taking it one step at a time because for now we need to apply the cream cheese frosting without messing up. Here is the cream cheese frosting. I literally made this 40 minutes ago. It is light cream cheese, a bit of Greek yogurt, some sugar, some vanilla extract, and a little bit of cinnamon. As you can maybe see, it has the perfect fluffy but gooey texture. Wow. I don't even know which of the two cakes I want as the top layer and which one as the bottom layer. So we're gonna see as we proceed. I don't know, I think carrot cake is one of my favorites, not only because it can potentially be one of the healthiest cakes, but also just because there's so much unique flavor in there. I love nuts and pastries, so there's lots of nuts, at least in this recipe. I love carrots, I love a hint of lemon, and there's just, there's just a lot that I love in this cake. It's fluffy, at least this recipe is. Again, everyone has their own cake recipes, and I haven't found a carrot cake that I genuinely enjoyed here in the US so far so I'm glad I reached out to my mom and so far it really turned out just as I remembered it Wow ah there's also no additional oil added. This is such a good recipe. This cake, the right now top layer, partially stuck to the baking pan. And I was so excited about this cake, it almost broke my heart because I did put butter, I did put flour into the pan so it wouldn't stick. But then, it literally ripped out the insides of the cake and it literally ripped out my heart. But luckily it could be way worse. So um, I'm just gonna get an additional plate one step at a time. I cannot lose my focus here. This is like a puzzle. A perfect match. We figured out the cake situation. The next step is to start applying the cream cheese frosting. I need to wash my hands, cleanse my mental palate, maybe do a couple of push-ups, and then we're gonna get into this. Okay, let's start. Like I said, here's the wonderful cream cheese frosting. It looks perfect. Wow. This is literally heaven. Perfect. I bread with butter. Thick, juicy, very, very nice. Perfect. This kind of looks like a huge sugar cookie. We now need to take the internally damaged cake and belly flop it onto this thing here. One, two, ten. Wow. I'm not used to things going 100% as planned. I can't reach the, I can't reach the oven. Fuck it. Wow. 
We also want to get the sides. So this is going to get messy. I already see it. I know it, but I know what I'm getting myself into and I know how amazing it's going to taste. So believe it or not, I have no professional experience in cake making. I just enjoy doing it. And I had a time where the algorithm suggested a lot of cake videos to me, like decorating and whatever. I'm working with my memory and what I think is right, but it's working out pretty well. Besides that, it's very relaxing. It's very therapeutic. It's already screaming my name more. I actually have a point of discussion about relationships that I would like to touch on. I'm currently re-watching this show where they kind of excuse the romantic involvement of two characters through the idiom damaged attracts damaged and healthy attracts healthy. Now I never overthought this and like I said I'm re-watching the show. I thought to myself, huh, that is a good way to put it. Very interesting. I consider myself to be pretty healthy mentally so I wouldn't want anyone that's damaged. But then, as I usually do, I kind of overthought the whole thing. Damaged might attract damaged and healthy might attract healthy healthy, but sometimes damaged is attracted to healthy and then damaged chases healthy. And if healthy isn't smart enough, then damaged has the power to damage healthy. Opening the question, was healthy healthy in the first place? I mean, this is putting everyone at risk. I might be overthinking this and I don't want to start a rant, but I'm sure you know what I'm saying. I just came to the conclusion that you can never generalize. At the end of the day, we also all have our own self-perception. Not everyone who's damaged perceives themselves as damaged and not everyone who's healthy perceives himself as healthy. A lot of people also just perceive themselves as healing or I think that's it. But um, yes, you cannot generalize. I thought this was a very interesting thing to touch on. I apologize if that didn't hit your spot and you couldn't care less. I thought it was interesting because I don't like generalizations and that was a very clear generalization. Mm. Wow, so good. I could literally drown myself in this cream cheese frosting. Now hold on. As much as I love minimalism and the elegance of this white masterpiece, I need something on top. The only thing I can find is birthday candles. So I think there's always a reason to celebrate. One, two, this looks great. I like how colorful they are. I remember I got these candles for our friend's birthday. And I got, I think, a hundred pieces for $20. This is very unsatisfying. There is a hole. And every hole is a goal, but this one is definitely not. We're just gonna do this until it looks kind of complete. Now this is a cake. Quite honestly, this cake, probably one of my biggest achievements within the past 24 hours. I've noticed that the more baking and kitchen videos I film, the more people want to see more of them. Wow, there was a lot of more in that sentence. So I'm just keeping them coming. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Like I said, I'm genuinely proud of what I made here. I think it looks fantastic. Let me know if you like carrot cake. Generally, let me know what your favorite cake is. For me, it's either carrot cake or like a nice chocolate hazelnut cake with a crunch. I love a nice crunch. At the end of the day, taste is crazy subjective. So let me know what floats your boat. If you've made it this far, thank you so much for watching, guys. Thank you for being here. Thank you for showing love. Thank you for showing support and interest. It means a lot to me. See you next time and take care. Bye.